Hi there and welcome to this Hestia CP control panel tutorial and in this Hestia CP control panel tutorial we're going to install Hestia CP on Ubuntu 24 LTS which is the latest Ubuntu LTS version which will be supported by Ubuntu up to the year 2025 and will receive further maintenance updates up to the year 2030. So that's why you should always use an LTS long term supported Ubuntu versions for your server. We are going to install HSTCP as Nginx and PHP FPM. That's the setup you're going to use. We're not going to install Apache, so just know that in advance. And then you're going to see how you can add multiple websites on that HSTCP server. So the tools that we're going to need for this tutorial. Number one, we're going to use Contabo as our VPS of choice. So to get to Contabo, you can just use my link and you can use Bizanosa. Bizanosa.com slash Contabo. And this is going to take you to Contabo VPS where you can look at the different offers that are available. We're going to need to set up our server. And as I said, we're going to use Ubuntu 24. So we're going to need to set it up. And the post that we're going to use to set it up, you can find that on my website. And the link will be in the description. But if it is not there, you can just search for it on, on Google or Bing. Just search for Bizanosa Ubuntu server setup. So Bizanosa is my website name. And this is the one Ubuntu 20 initial server setup on a VPS. And this is a post that I'm going to use to set up my server. So as I said, we're going to use Ubuntu 20.04. So we're going to use this to set up Ubuntu 20.04. And the things we're going to do are here. Everything we're going to do is listed here. So just follow along with me and everything is going to be clear for you. But just note that I'm not going to use party. So that's the next tool. The next tool we are going to use, we are not going to use party. We are going to use git bash and you can get git bash for free on Google. So just search for, search for git, download git and you download it from this website, git scm. We are going to use git bash. So I'm on Windows. That's why I have to install git bash. If you're following along on Mac or on Ubuntu, then you can just use the terminal instead of having to install git you can use terminal but if you want to follow along you can still install it you can see you can install git for linux and even mac now if you don't have it and you are on windows just click there and download it install it and it's going to come with everything you need it's going to come with git bash git gui and git cmd but we only need git bash so once it's downloaded make sure you install it and we will start in the next video and we're going to start by setting up our server on Contabo. I will see you in that next video when we set up our Contabo server. 